about two hours west of the Oak Ridge Reservation. 10,000 students walk the campus of Tennessee Tech University. They want to live in Tennessee once they graduate, even if they're not native Tennesseans. They come to Tennessee, they come to college, and then they love Tennessee and they want to stay in Tennessee. So they're really looking for career opportunities, not just jobs, but lifetime careers that are going to let them stay in the state of Tennessee. That's music to the ears of employers who know 30% of their workforce will be eligible to retire in the next 10 years. And I think the opportunity to bring new folks into our industry who are already uh, committed generally, generationally to, tennis, to Tennessee, being Tennesseans, and then being able to be educated, apply that education to the greater mission, the greater livability, the greater economic growth, and to do that by growing through our, our organization, growing through our, our approaches, through our industry with us. I, I think that's the most exciting thing that comes of all of this. The nuclear engineering degree program could be available as early as the fall of 2024. Between now and then, UCOR and school leaders will work together to come up with the curriculum. I expect there to be some unique elements to this program too that maybe are a little different than what you would find uh, at other nuclear engineering programs around the country. Uh, and, and that's where input from uh, industry leaders like UCOR can, can assist us in identifying what those elements should be. To, to, you know, areas that may not be being met by other programs. UCOR has been part of successful launches before, including the nuclear decommissioning minor at the University of Tennessee. It has streamlined careers in environmental management, which is what tech leaders say they hope to see happen here. I really want to see that partnership and that presence of UCOR on campus so that our students learn about UCOR. Uh, many of our students, as I said, they intern, they co-op, and so by the time they graduate, they often already have a relationship with a company or wherever they're going to work. So the thing I'm looking forward to is a UCOR presence on campus so that our students become familiar with the company and then they more naturally migrate toward that company when they graduate. And they'll have plenty of options. Competition for great employees in the engineering field is fierce, often with more spots available than graduates to fill them. You can count on uh, a, a bilateral relationship. Your voice is as important as our voice. You can count on having a seat at the table. On this sunny day in Cookville, that partnership is forged. You know, this is the kind of thing that it's, it's sort of a no-brainer. Everybody benefits from this, and, uh, and that's the way partnerships should work. Encouraging students to take the short drive east and walk right into a job.